Hey, it's that time of the year again and we'll be looking at a couple of emerging UI design trends that are gonna be rocking our UIs in 2022. This year, however, I decided to wait a little bit because usually when we release our trends early, a lot of people copy them. So I waited for those creative designers to publish their own trends before we publish ours. Okay, let's start with the first one. Minimalism is still holding strong. It is, however, getting decorations a little bit from outside of the trend. It's still minimal, but it adds decoration or concepts that escape the style a little bit. Things like additional floating PNGs on top of the otherwise very minimal design, funky typography or unusual color choices. Here are some cool examples that caught my eye this year. Glass morphism has fully cut on. Which is good. I really like that style and I think that it deserves the recognition that it got. What's new this year are even more vibrant colors in the background, adding some neon effects to it and adding a noise texture on top of the glass morphic panels for that natural, nice looking, organic feel. The glass effect seems to be here to stay because it provides context of depth, it shows what's under what which is really good and does it while looking really cool. And here are some very nice examples that I spotted this year. Nineties style flat brutalism. Brutalism as a trend didn't really go anywhere. It's a very nice counterbalance to those overly designed minimal styles. It did evolve a little bit this year with the likes of Spotify, Figma and Gumroad. And it's still brutalism, but it doesn't follow all of the rule breaking that brutalism usually does. It's still over the top with slightly mismatched colors and really, really funky or sometimes even plain weird fonts. But this time it actually usually follows a grid. It does something that brutalism at its core is usually breaking. So this new brutalism is a little bit brutalist, but it actually takes cues from other design styles and it's a lot more conservative when it comes to grid. Here are some nice examples of that. Claymorphism. That's a new entry to the race, but it's growing rapidly due to the increasing popularity of fluffy 3D visuals. You know the like. It's practically new Morphism 2.0, but with better contrasts and better overall visual fidelity. You can do a lot more nicer things in that style without making it look boring. It's all about inflating those previously flat surfaces with carefully placed inner shadows and diagonally placed outer shadows. It's definitely fresh, friendly and combined with those fluffy 3D visuals it makes for a nice look and feel. Here are some examples of Claymorphism to get you inspired this year. Aurora gradients. Aurora gradients are another thing that caught on and it's likely here to stay. People seem to love that organic look and feel from blending different colors together in the backgrounds. It looks good, it can animate in very very nice ways and it can blend with pretty much almost every other design style except for maybe brutalism. It mixes well with clay morphism, glass morphism and minimal so you should definitely explore it a little bit more this year. You can either use plugins for mesh gradients to achieve this effect or simply blur a couple of intersecting colorful circles. Here are some nice examples examples of Aurora backgrounds for you. This has been part one of two of my 2022 design predictions. Stay subscribed if you haven't, if you want to be on top of your UI game. And here is a nice video on clay morphism, the very first video on this topic that goes in depth on this new emerging UI style. Have a great day. Cheers. Uh -huh.